Yeah. I noticed that. Two. Yeah. I noticed that. Did you ever have an earring? No. Never. Uh, I did those. Thomas Ardio. He does some like acupuncture things. Oh, the right? seeds. The, the ear, ear ones. And they are not a pleasant experience. The ear they like jam. He jams them in there. Yeah. And they like basically has this round piece and then a like a a bolt, I guess, and then a, a sharp like cone on the other end, so it holds in there. Yeah, it's, it's like a like, carrot. It's awful. Yeah. Yeah. So it just goes. Yet? No, I remember it's, you saying it hurt really bad when you slept, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes they They're get infected. And, and, and then Lakeland was like, "Did you get your ear pierced?" I'm like, "No, I did not get my ear pierced. <laughs> no way," because she just got her ear pierced, so she's pretty, pretty jazzed about, jazz. jazz about that. And didn't cry, didn't flinch, nothing. She's and then like to my, be expected. And then my niece Lily was like, "Yeah, it hurt so bad." Blah blah blah. Lakeland looks at her and goes. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right. That sounds about right. <laughs> we go over and get frozen yogurt. And right next door is Claire's. Mm-hmm. And that's where they take all the little girls mm-hmm. to get their ears pierced. And so, like, we go over there usually once a week, and there's always some little girl getting her ears yeah. pierced. And I'd like to record it because you see, you know, like kids crying, kids not. Yeah. There's a yeah. spectrum of responses Stone happening. Is. And we laugh while we're eating our yogurt. <laughs> Good entertainment. entertainment. It's a thing. So this episode is sponsored by RP Strength, but it's also sponsored by Burger King here. Mm. Oh, oh yes. hey, I just and tried trifecta. the I just tried the Impossible Burger. Impossible Whopper. Yeah, that thing. So Branding. what is it now? It's garbage. It's not garbage, but it's not as like it tastes. I mean, so we did a we did a blind taste test, me and Billings. Okay. Really? Okay. And so not blind. Sorry, we we bought a regular Whopper and bought an Impossible Whopper, and we tried them both, and it's not terrible. No, I it's can't like, imagine it being comparable. I mean, though. let's be honest. Like Burger King's Whopper meat, the Whoppers are delicious. It's like yeah. They're delicious. My favorite hamburger. But you know, go. but you know, it's not quality. Like yeah. it's kind of hockey yeah. puckish. Like it's you can't <laughs> really you can't yeah. really tell yeah. that it's burger. Sure. Right. And so, if you were to eat the Impossible Whopper without eating the Whopper. You'd say, oh, it tastes identical because it's kind of like flop. You're like, eh, it's, yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's it's mystery meat anyway, sure, sure. Right. but it's not meat. What but then it? you look at the nutrition facts, and it's like it's actually worse for you. It like is? It, has, it is. It has more carbohydrate. Well, I mean, okay. not Let worse. Let me look it up. It has almost the same amount of fat, almost identical protein, yeah. more sodium. Like it's, I feel like that's common for yeah, like I mean, artificial meats yeah. and stuff. It says it's made out of soy protein, potato protein, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and hemi. Hemp. Hemp. H e m e. Hemi. Hemp. It's got a hemi in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just is it hemi or heme? You think? Okay. I don't know heme. Traditional know. Whopper is 660 calories, 40 grams of fat, 12 of which are saturated, and 20 grams of protein. The Impossible Whopper clocks in at 630 calories, 34 oh. grams of fat, 11 saturated. So it's only yeah. six grams of fat less, and 25 grams of protein. So it's like the same, basically yeah. nutritional. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, but then yeah. I think the sodium is higher. I think I read we read, and then also the um, what else was higher? Carbohydrate, maybe. Mm-hmm. My daughter told me about it, and because she doesn't eat meat, and so I texted her a picture of it, and she sent me this. Um, oh wow! Let me know what you think. It's it's a little heavy in your stomach, so prepare. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but you you liked it, right? It, I, From a taste standpoint, it tasted Sorry, just like. Just, no, you're good. Any other thing that I would eat there? Yeah. Okay, that's probably because I put a lot of ketchup on it, and yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it tastes like it tastes like a Whopper. Like I said, if you weren't to eat them, like you, but you just feel weird eating it not that i mean you feel weird i'm eating actually a really impressed though that it tastes even kind of it tastes pretty like close that. i guess i just don't understand why they wouldn't make it healthier if it's yeah. like the impossible whopper because it's, it's supposed like- to taste like beef but i'm like hmm. people when this is my uncle's a vegetarian my dad's dead which is kind of bizarre if you think about my dad but <laughs> um he was like why are you trying to make a veggie burger taste like beef because vegetarians don't really care if mm. it tastes right. like beef, yeah. you right. know? Like, yeah. But I guess you're trying to hit the, the meat market and, you know, the whole save the planet type right. methane gas from right. cows BS. <laughs> but um, The question is, is it selling well? I've never been to Burger King since I've lived here. It's in six I years. I want to try. It was packed in there. I want to try the Popeye's chicken sandwich versus Chick-fil-A because I don't mm. believe the blasphemy that it's better. Okay, I heard same. there was some drama there, but I don't know. What I, it I don't What's know. the like, issue? I, we went Sunday because chick-fil-A is closed yeah. mm. after training with Rich and I was like, all right, I'm going to put this to, to the test. I'm going to try it and see, you know, supposedly it's a Chick-fil-A or chicken sandwich that's better than the Chick-fil-A wow. chicken mm. sandwich, just uh, the original, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't buy it, but it's sold out 
and you can't buy it anywhere. Like, so I... You couldn't we, get one? We went and it said coming <laughs> coming back soon or something oh, like that wow. because wow. apparently they didn't, they can't keep them on the whatever. That's crazy. The Impossible Whopper did boost Burger King sales, by the way. Yeah, because I think people just want to try it. I don't know if yeah. like, I'm not like going to be able to go back and buy it, you know, but well, I just I, wanted I, to see, like I saw a commercial and man, thanks for all those floaters in there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it looks like he's got a cut on his head. Oh, I oh, was what wondering. Is that? marker. Oh, oh, okay. That's cool. Nice marker there, Trice man. <laughs> okay, so are you guys uh, willing to try? Uh, so I was in Cocoa Beach this past weekend, and of course I'm like trotting through Ron Johns, and I find trotting astronaut ice cream. Did you ever have this as a kid? No. You've never it's, tried it. It's well, okay. astronauts take to space. You have? Yeah. Although I just looked it up, and they said it's a lie, and they didn't take it to space. Uh, weren't what? Dippin' Dots supposedly what? like space food? Dippin' and- Dots are good. Oh, hold on one sec, Trice. I'm tired of being lied to. Uh, well, they said Dippin it might have gone good. up in Apollo Seven, but ice cream's it better. It might have. So, so this doesn't yeah. have to be refrigerated? False advertising. No, I might have played in the NFL. I can't eat that for another 19 minutes. Okay, well, you can try tonight. Oh, I didn't think about that in 19 minutes. No. Trice. It's like, hey, uh, <laughs> is this? Um, Here you go, Trice. Me. It doesn't taste. I mean, it's not. What's it made of? I don't know. Yeah, what is it made of? I don't know. The astronauts eat it. Oh. If they eat it, you can it eat it. It contains milk, soy, and wheat, so be careful. <laughs> so Hopefully nobody has a. <laughs> it's crunchy. I'm, to... <laughs> I'm sorry. Milk. Cream, sugar, corn syrup, non-fat milk, whey, cocoa plus with alkali, mono and diglycerides. It's mm. trice approved. Guar, oh, guar gum, artificial flavors. Aha, hold on. Wait mm. for it. Punchline's coming. Locust bean gum, polysorbate 80, carrageenan. Mm. Oh, wow. Red 40. No! Oh! <laughs> oh, man, we're all going down. Sorry for everybody's ears right there. But Red yeah. 40. Wafer ingredients, mm. wheat flour, sugar. And you know sugar, the worst part is I ate the pink part. Yeah, wort, same. Wheat flour, sugar, caramel color, dextrose, right. palm oil, corn flour, cocoa, oh. high fructose, corn syrup, corn syrup, modified cornstarch, cocoa, I really wish we hadn't salt, read the baking soda, soy lecithin, mono <laughs> wow. and diglycerides. Yeah, they really went light on those ingredients. Just a few. <laughs> I mean, look, that's not wow. processed at all. I know. Um, Honestly, though, like if you were in outer space and you had a hankering for a Napoleon a ice cream sandwich... I feel like that would like kind of suffice. The flavor was pretty close, but the texture and crunchiness and really dryness crunchy. was. This says like it cereal. was created for the Mercury missions, not the Apollos. Oh, really? I feel like I've had a lot of soy between that burger and this <laughs> yeah. now. You're gonna <laughs> you're soyed out. You're so, gonna turn into Bob from Fight Club. Oh great! Well, yeah, your estrogen might be a little high today. You might. You can be a little sensitive. You can be a little sensitive, Jim. Don't make me cry. If Jim Rich. starts crying later, we know why. We know why. Hey, Rich, I love you, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Jeez. Um, and also, speaking of super 21 cool. gram of carbohydrates. 21 grams of carbohydrates in what? that one sandwich. How many sandwich. calories and fat are in this? Two grams of protein and four grams of oh. fat. So it's pretty much just sugar. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Which good. is well, ice cream. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Cheers. But aren't when you're in space, your muscles are like you're just getting smaller? Your muscle, yeah. You, you atrophy your bones and your bones and your muscles pretty because much. Because of gravity. But apparently you end up taller because Ooh. of the decompression. The weightlessness. Oh. Permanently? When you uh, come back? I don't, I was, re- I didn't you finish You age a lot more, right, too, I think? Uh, it's it's more hard on your cells, I think. Yeah. Because uh, the two, they did a twin study. Hmm. Like oh, smart. Two twin astronauts. Peace, dude. Later, <laughs> Trice. Thanks for Bye. coming. In and out, he just came for the ice cream. He, he knew kno- there was going to be space ice cream. He knows what's up. What a <laughs> diamond edition to the podcast. What He's- a disaster. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Nobody pay attention to him. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to go to space? If you could go, would you go? Nope. I wouldn't go. I don't have any desire to do that. I recently changed my mind. If someone offered to let me go to the moon, I would go. Yeah. I don't think I really yeah. would want to. Know. How long are we talking? Like I don't know. Let's say trip. you get up there a couple of days, you know, in and out. Like a four day, three day vacation yeah. or something? I'd like 20 I'd go hours. to the moon. Like how many times? That's so incredible to be able to adventure Is it like guaranteed that, that your spaceship's not going like, mean, to have it, any it, issues? No things guaranteed. It's like getting Tasia, on an airplane. Ever. <laughs> Nothing in life is guaranteed. Have Thanks you seen the that. video of the, of the Red Bull guy? The guy who gets on the oh, little yeah. capsule, Felix. goes oh, yeah. up, and then jumps yep. out of that yeah. thing? Yep. I don't know, man. That whole thing, like, wow. It's just... That's a little different. Well, he, w- he worked with Michael Gervais that. on that. Yeah. yeah. And he was... Uh, he developed claustrophobia halfway through the training. Yeah. Like, that's mm. insane. There's a whole... Yeah. Doc- I watched a documentary on it when I was in... Uh, Ooh, was it We were on Wide on the Waves. It was pretty good. I don't know. I, I guess I'm a. I'm just a land lover. I'm not into land jumping lover. out of a plane hey, out listen. of the atmosphere. No. That, yeah. Uh-uh. I don't I, even I'd need do to jump it. out of I one. just... I don't know. 
I don't, yeah, I would do it, I think. You jump, you well, do what Felix did? Yeah. Oh I think gosh. it's actually possible not to go to the moon, but to get into space now. I mean, yeah. SpaceX yeah. and some of those, mm-hmm. you can actually buy a ride if you've got yeah, money. I buy no ride for that. If and somebody's going to give it to me, I'd do it. <laughs> yeah, the ride, I just, I wouldn't want to just go up and down. I would like a destination. Like if I'm walking on the moon, absolutely. If I'm like just, well, I don't know, maybe it's like a trip around the moon would be okay. Because think of all the things you could see. It would be really crazy to look down at the world, though, yeah, and be like, crazy. wow. That would be crazy. And seeing, like, just seeing the darkness of space and looking out, that would be pretty, talk about abyss. I mean, you look at the horizon, you're like, whoa. Abyss? Abyss. Mm. Which is pretty cool. The darkness of your heart? The abyss of your heart, Ellie? Yes. Right, is that where we're going, going right now? I'm to show you this. <laughs> <laughs> Taking so, a deep turn. <laughs> okay. We were walking to the coffee shop at the games. And we passed a railroad track, and I guess so, it was on one of the videos. Oh, yeah. And I asked... Uh, would a penny really derail? A train. Yeah. A train. Sure enough, someone was listening and they sent us one. Wow. Oh. I, I'm not allowed to say how they got it, but... They ran it over with a train. Is. There's an actual penny well, right here. Yeah, yeah, so thank you, Michaela, for sending us this. Now you told on her. No, she, she didn't do it. Is it Michaela or just Kayla? Looks like her name's oh, just Kayla. I guess she goes by Kayla, but her Instagram was Michaela. Um, but anyway, she sent this, which I thought was the coolest what thing ever. What did she have to say about it? What does it say? So... They put a penny down and they had it run over and the train was just fine. Oh, wow. It just smushes it, hmm. which is so cool. Yeah, I would think that sure it'd be enough, pretty Fly crazy if an actual penny could derail yeah, a train. That'd be frightening for us yeah. traveling by train. Yes, I think there would be a bunch of penny terrorists. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> penny terrorists. Guys walking around with Gosh. bags of pennies. Yeah. I feel like oh. this is illegal. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, that Defacing might... money, I probably why now you oh. got Kayla in trouble. No, it wasn't her. I it don't was, see it Abraham anywhere. Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Think it was that. her. Don't tell who it was. It, no, Say it was I, one of her friends or relatives. No. I'm sure that's enough. The it FBI was, to go on right there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she saw bystanders. She saw the penny terrorists on the side of the road with uh-huh. a bag of pennies putting them down. She's like, hey, can I have one of those? So she's part of a crime. Um, accomplice, accomplice Fred. to way to Michaela, go, felony. <laughs> Don't ever let Ellie have any of your. <laughs> wow. I'm excited. I'm keeping that Otis, thing. Michaela. Well, but you're right on the back. It says Kayla. It says Kayla. But so she actually put this penny, or somebody connected her, put the penny on the, the tracks. Watch the train you, run you over. You can it. read the back of the card, and you can know okay. its true whereabouts. Is that a Christmas card? That's what she said to you, Brenda. He's sorry for the oh, Christmas card. That's it's what she said. <laughs> that's perfect. It is pretty. Christmas sweet. cards oh, make everything hilarious. better. Uh, I think so. It does. It, yeah. It's a nice card. There's the, yeah. Um, there it is right there, folks. Is that a Thomas so cool. Kincaid painting? It kind of, it looks like one. It's got to it be. Is. It is. You're right. Yes. How do you know that? Victorian that? Christmas he 3. He paints everything what? for Christmas. Who is that? I've never heard of it. Thomas see- Kincaid? Are you yeah. kidding me? It's you like uncultured cool. swine. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was a member at the gym. <laughs> no, Thomas Kincaid paints all those type of paintings. Yeah. They're really pretty. Yeah, that they is look really like pretty. He's got a bunch of different ones. Uh, speaking of like weird meat from Burger King, uh, I was reading, <laughs> it was like, I don't know, some kind of recipe book that says, said, okay, well, before I tell you the statistic, would you eat lab grown meat? Oh, I saw this where they're taking cells from a cow and growing steak. Yep. They feed a small sample of animal cells, the right nutrients, and they multiply and grow until you have enough to make an actual piece of meat. I feel they're like doing that, that is. In, they're doing that in Israel, right? But to me, I feel like, isn't that, like, the stuff that causes cancer? Like... About to find out. I just could... I... That hmm. is the one thing that, like, I couldn't imagine. Like, it I'd probably tastes it. fine. No, I couldn't. Like, it, that just grosses me out. Why not? So, what's the thought process behind Less doing kill, this? You don't have to kill the cows. Okay. Bunch of hippies. Oh, so that's a good question. Que- question. Question for KM. Question for KM. Would she, Would she eat... Meat? Oh, interesting. Taken from yeah. the cell, as long as the cow wasn't harmed in any <laughs> process. Cell scraping. There was no cow It must have been numbed this. first. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, this uh, provides sorry. an interesting debate. I know. Morals. So, ethics. I, but I how had are they business it grow? Ethics. It seems I had so beef weird. last week in Texas beef. from my friends has, you know, nine or ten cows, kind of like what you're going to do with the bison. Mm-hmm. And we had some of that meat and smoked it, and it was amazing. Yeah, so what it wasn't was lab about grown, it? though? Wait, it wasn't lab grown. It was regular. No, it okay. was regular. I don't know about You're lab saying grown. like grass fed beef? It was yeah. grass fed from oh, his, okay, yeah. his, his place. His little it's, place. It looks, it's like visually different when you look at it. Yeah, which will be like Froning Farms. I think they're doing it in Israel, I think. The, um, the, the growth. growing the things. I don't know about I that. I think we need to let that. Yeah, I feel like we got a process and it works. I mean, everybody wants to say that. Right. I, mean, I, I read debate. a statistic and I don't know how accurate it is because I didn't verify any of the stuff. But the the <laughs> they said fact that the they're saying that agriculture, like 
um, cows and all that are producing how much of whatever methane right. is the statistic is way overblown. They're producing right. methane. That's what's contributing to global warming. Right. But really? It's Just not, cows? No, yeah. any type of act. I mean, you know how I mean, we're all yeah. going to die. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're At some point, we are. Yeah, truth. I mean, like, it's just, you know, I do I think, yeah, we should probably control some stuff and maybe, maybe uh, you know, take care of the planet? Yes, for mm-hmm. sure. For sure. But are we being a little ridiculous? And yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, that. everything's doom and gloom always. When someone's connecting... Yeah, that ideology to some sort of political yeah. mm-hmm. then it's perspective, too far. kind of you yeah. know, movement. Then I'm I'm out. Yep. What's the weirdest kind of meat you've ever <gasps> eaten? I don't like eel. Like I like sushi Ooh, I a like lot. Eel. eel is smoky. Yeah, I don't like and it. And it's a slimy texture. I yeah, think. I don't like it. It's but it's in sushi. You know, like you had an eel, eel sauce is good. Eel. I don't like eel sauce either, it's just sweet, because though. eels in the name. I don't know. <gasps> I'm out. You're missing you out. It's know? good. No. I mean, probably I don't like slimy stuff. Like yeah. I like. I'm not sure what we ate in China, actually. <laughs> Any of that stuff. There were some questionable things we ate in China. It's questionable to me. Yeah. <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, you, well, you had, you had like, well, like, what did you think it was? Like, I don't know, because there were bones we were pulling out of it. Oh. Was it on a pizza? Was it? No, no, it was like meat, in just in sauce. In some sauce. And then there was one that we ate that... It was steaming, and oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure there were truffles or like sliced, real thin sliced mushrooms. But it was like moving. It looked like it, there were bugs crawling on it. Like no joke. It was, uh, it, and it tasted fishy. Oh, so. Ooh. And fishy. it was supposed to be chicken fried rice. Oh. oh. It was. There was a lot of really questionable things at that dinner. Yeah, we didn't eat much of that. No. We didn't eat much for the first three days in China, actually. Pizza. Pizza. Gummy bears. Protein bars. <laughs> Protein and then bars. you just kind of succumbed to... Well, no, then we found here. this very, like, Americanized mall and when we ate way <laughs> <Yeah>. too much. <laughs> uh, the and we watched the Avengers every day. <laughs> I had a zebra hamburger Ooh. in that? Africa. I didn't know it was made out of zebra. It just tasted like a hamburger. Oh, all right. Oh, and that's I just pretty. and we've yeah. been like in nowhere for thirty days and this is your first meal back and you're just like, I'll have another, I'll have you're another. Like, oh. Hey, that zebra, I'll have another. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've, there's anything crazy that I've eaten. I don't think so. I had um lamb brains in uh. Serbia and it was one of those things that like uh. so I guess when they build a house there it's customary to spill lamb's blood on the foundation or something, or at least at the time in the family that I was with, that was the custom. <laughs> okay. And then they cook the lamb for 24 hours and then you come and eat it. Well, if you're like one of the guests of honor, it, the brain is supposed to be, you know, a great, either that or they pulled the wool over my makes, eyes. Makes because, you smarter. Oh man. Wow. It was, I just remember seeing their, um, the grandmother of the group eating the eyeballs and just like, and then oh. this is no joke and they bring me over this little plate and it's like gray and i mean i felt like i was on fear factor i looked at it and i was like oh no like i'm not going to disgrace the family and it I was i might have disgraced the family i'd try it but man mm. you know anthony bourdain used to every time he had like um rocky mountain oysters or something he'd go "Ooh, that's gamey uh-huh. That was this. It was so gamey. It tasted exactly like it looked. <laughs> when we were actually yeah. in China, we ate. Yeah, that looks really oh, gross. Wow. Yeah. We ate. It was like raw steak. Oh, tartar. Yeah, yeah. steak tartar. Oh. It like good. I think mentally I like couldn't handle it. Like I ate it and was like I just for some reason what it tasted like I just couldn't do it. Yeah. It wasn't a... Did you have any? Or yeah, did you... I did. And then you're just like I'm and done. I was like okay, I just yeah. it's good. I feel like you shouldn't be eating raw meat i don't know like red especially out of this i was gonna say depends on where it's from in the united states steak tartare is actually pretty good but I, in china yeah maybe i, I see, tried it but i saw a guy eat a chicken beak mm. Ooh. how do you eat it? how do you eat it? yeah crunchy it's more like a toothpick <laughs> we visited we visited this little village and when you get there it's like an honor for them to give you meat they don't mm. usually do that right so they 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 didn't prepare the chicken. They just beat it to death. Oh gosh! Sorta kind of plucked it and boiled it, and then you're kind of getting meat off this thing, and you got to eat it to be polite. Oh my gosh! And we were with a couple of college guys that one of them dared the other one. Like, hey man, like I can't remember what it was, fifty bucks or whatever. <laughs> you eat that beak right there off that thing, and I'll give you the fifty bucks. And he ate it. Oh yeah! Chicken I, beak. I had a cricket taco one time. Ew. In Nashville. Oh yeah, I remember right that. Right before regionals. Yeah. Remember that? 
We tried a cricket. It wasn't that great. It, it was really bad. salty, right? Yeah, it was super salty. How many crickets were in it? A bunch. Jiminy it was cricket. a lot. It was a whole thing of crickets. Jiminy. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, did it? Were there actual like? It looked like there yeah, were crickets in oh, yeah. it. It was. Uh. It was like a taco full of crickets. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. I mean, it just didn't just taste great. Super, it tasted kind of like tuna almost, as the the level of saltiness. Yeah, I don't know uh, about that. I only had like a. It leg. was pretty crunchy. Oh yeah, you. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. But I don't know. That didn't sound really yeah. great. I feel like it, once it I gets mean, in your it brain, was, it was there. Yeah, you know, I had to try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you definitely did. Uh, I bit the head of a parrotfish in Fiji. They um, a parrot fish. Well, so like okay. we went, we were in a village, we stayed in a village, and um, we were taking us fishing. So we all assumed like we were gonna have like a long stick with like a piece of string on it or something, right? Right. Well, they roll out this giant net, and there's like twelve of us, and there's a person at each end of the net, and then everyone else is behind the net making noise, and you're just walking out into the ocean, and I guess we had people on that side too, so you're like trying to like corner the fish. So, the <laughs> Fijian guy is like, huge old parrotfish swims in, and he, we were like, okay, what do you do now? Because the fish is like, and he just grabs it and goes, <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> I'm good on that. And Did he eat it? Out, it? She's just killing it. Oh, he killed it that way. Yeah. And so, you in turn Had to, yeah. went in Fiji, do <laughs> as the Fiji, <laughs> yeah. uh, help me say the word. He did it. Fijian? Fijian. 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 Yeah, it was actually really cool. But anyway, wow. yeah, those are some weird. We've got some weird food stories. That's you guys some are some global stories. Yeah. Africa, yeah. China, all you know. around the world. That's actually pretty cool. Right back to the impossible whopper in <laughs> the <Philippines. laughs> Tennessee. Uh, speaking of impossible, how do you think KM's doing at uh, meditation uh, camp? We were talking about that earlier. Mm. I don't. Know. What day? I is bet she she's on? doing really good. I'm yeah, sure she's, she's six days. Yeah. Now. She's just psycho enough for it to be okay. Like. <laughs> but here's, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go first. Uh, I was say that's what we were saying. Is like if you've made it through the first like three or four days you're good i think yeah in my head at least and then i was like well she's probably making friends and then i'm like well she's not no because she's not making no friends. Talking, you can't talk yeah. to them no or make eye contact. contact that sounds but do you think just so boring so, i've been to jail before so like, it's exactly <laughs> like that like i don't really mind the no talk i just would be so bored out of my but mind you can't write or read you either you can't write is, read you can't work out you can't oh like, and the no working out thing i'd be like 30 minutes and i'd be like i'm out I'm super impressed, though. I think it's so that's impressive. impressive. Yeah, super impressive. But, Ish. So, what do you guys think? Do you think it's also she's going to come back <laughs> and be like... She's going to be able to levitate. That's what I was thinking. You think she's going to be like, that's the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm never doing it again. No, you she'll probably she'll do it again. have like a new like, life purpose? Or what yeah. do you think it'll be like when she comes back? I think she'll be super centered and motivated yeah i think one thing that's cool is like to be like absent from your phone for that long yeah. is probably gonna give you some something good that was nice for sure. last yeah. year when i did that hunting trip not i mean i had my phone but it didn't work most of the time and that was awesome yeah there's a there's a big buddha a resort with a big buddha a shambhala they call it up mm -hmm. above fort collins colorado and i went up there a couple of times and it was you know it's just giant big gold buddha and they had these kind of same kind of camps and so oh, when wow. you get there there's like a monk telling you hey there's no talking or, and so you see all these like little huts all around the place and there are people in there doing whatever yeah. they do and it's super silent and kind of eerie and weird and <laughs> you smell incense. Yeah. And, yeah. Hmm. yeah. I, I feel like, like I was, and I mentioned to her before I left, like I wish that you could write though or something like that. So like if something's coming up for you or you're there to like transcend whatever, find whatever it is you're yeah. looking for. I mean, think about how much you can't remember in a day. The amount of times I'm like, oh, I'll remember that for the podcast. And like later on, I'm like, hmm, I have no idea what I was thinking about. Ten days is so long. So it's long. Like, it's you know, more than a week. You know what's, yeah. really, what's <laughs> yeah. really cool, though? And when you get quiet like that, and this is what happens to me. So instead of there being lots of thoughts, mm -hmm. which is kind of what you think would happen. Oh, my God. I'm going to have so much going on in my head. That's not what happens. Yeah. Because there's no more input. Mm. It's just you mm -hmm. inside of you. And you get really, really clear and wow. your thought process kind of narrows. Oh, that's awesome. So you, I think she'll leave there with some really, two or three really important things sure. that she was thinking about. That no, I'm really excited to see her and talk yeah. to her and see how it went. And yeah. That's what she was trying to explain that the whole point of the meditation was not to think at all, which that also blew my mind. Really? I, was like, oh. I don't know how you could do that. That's well, she was just saying like in think. meditation, you're not necessarily, uh, as she was explaining it, and I could have totally interpreted this no, wrong. No, you're right. Yeah. She was saying that like you're not. It's not about letting your mind drift and follow thoughts. It's about not having, trying to which be super I don't know that I fully understand be... what that means. Yeah. Like when they, like when you meditate and you're trying to just focus on your breathing and not focus mm -hmm. on like right. external things, yeah. you know, which well. I know she's doing some guided meditations there, which 
probably helps break up the monotony if she has someone who's like leading you through stuff and then she does like her own meditations wow. and things. I wonder if so she'll want to talk tries. more because she doesn't just, she's not chatty. Yeah. So I wonder if she'll like have, need to get some words out. I feel like it'll be like one end of the spectrum. Yeah, for sure. When's she coming back? Soon? Sunday. Sunday. Tasha's got oh, the countdown. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Picking her up from the airport. Well, um, it's been like a month since you guys have seen each other, I right? know, because like we had an overlap, so it's been oh, a long yeah. time. Wow. Well, are you okay? I'm surviving, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, her car's parked outside my house. Oh. Um, for $86, would you go to Japan, put on a loincloth, and step into a ring with a sumo wrestler, and then you get a bowl of ramen when you're done? <laughs> for $86 <laughs> they're flying me there yeah, yeah. business uh, class <laughs> <laughs> that's the real question sure sure, <laughs> sure. I, that you get two hours with the sumo wrestler like two hours no yeah. I just get pushed out of the ring well, and I'm done no you get, do we well, have to, do and we, you get two choices you can wear a loincloth or a bodysuit <laughs> bodysuit body suit, mm. sure. like the sumo bodysuit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you got to. Do we have to do the sumo thing, or can we like do jujitsu or it's probably, little karate? I, mean, I, I bet you could probably karate your daylights out of a sumo wrestler, and he would like pick you up and be like, Bink. "You can't let him get a hold of you." <laughs> no, well, that's you got to shuck and jive. <laughs> they said it's probably similar to like third grade volleyball, where you just get smashed. Oh, if he gets a hold of you get... and lays on you, it's over. <laughs> but I love how it was like this was in some adventure magazine. They're like. But upon your time in the ring with the sumo wrestler, you will have a wonderful ramen noodle lunch waiting for you. <laughs> Wait, this <laughs> like, was in a magazine, like an actual yes. offer? You no, know, oh. it was the Wall Street Journal. That's what it was. Oh. It was like 50 things to do for adventure. And it was wow. like $86 you get in the ring with a sumo wrestler and a loincloth and are provided a fabulous ramen lunch. Oh, there's no way they're <laughs> flying them there, though. No, no, no. I'm oh, just okay. saying, like, would you if you yeah, had the opera, yeah, like, if yeah. you were in Japan? Okay, I got you. And I knew hmm. if I said you had to pay your, for your ticket to get, then like, definitely no, not. you know, no. it's gotcha, not... Yeah. I That's just wonder, true. like, would the does the guy even move, or does he just like walk in and like flick people and they fly across the? Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Don't let me get a hold of you. It ain't gonna work out. No, it's not a good, not a good place to be. I bet. No, not at all. Um, so train with Rich this weekend. That was awesome. What'd you guys think? It was really cool. It was, fun. It was a good time. Good group. Yeah, it was a good group. I Did really like that group. Our first uh, one at Dad's. People really, really. That liked was kind of cool. What did cool. you think of that? It was cool. It was really good. Yeah, it was um, fun. Yeah, I think we might start doing that more often, maybe. Even when it's wet, like colder, we could do come up with something to do up there. It was easy, yeah. you yeah. know, and, and I people, people, I think, like enjoy that. Too. Yeah. I was impressed with the amount of people who swam. Yeah. I thought Everybody, a lot of people I, were yeah. going to dip. Our only people that didn't swim were our members yeah. that were there. <laughs> right. I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, everybody swam yeah. or walked in the water. Yeah. But, yeah. When you were offering a... Uh, Swim cap and goggles, and yeah. nobody said anything. That was so bizarre. I thought, I oh my God, no one's getting in the water. Yeah, me too. Uh, no, they all did. They just didn't want to touch my swim cap or goggles. I'll blame so. them. Yeah, whatever. Gross. It's Tra fine. Chain with Rich is like, and I say this every time we bring it up, but it's the most fun thing I think it's my that's done thing. around here. And like, it's we did way too much working out for my current state of fitness. Though. Oh, I was sore. I was not ready for it that It was a volume. good welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still sore. And then yeah, played the flag you. football game on Sunday after that. Uh, I couldn't walk <laughs> yesterday. I was like, don't touch me. I can't get up. It was awful. Well, this was a really quiet group of people. It was quiet. And but they, they just did everything. But they did ask a lot of good questions. That was kind of cool. You know, those Q&As. Yeah, you it know, was that, good. Especially they, that second Q&A. I was kind of like, all right, we, we got to stop. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. You know, because they kept asking. It was good stuff. There were quite a few, too, which I thought was cool in the spectrum of like, you know, you had like Liz and Wells, who it was their anniversary and Liz tells her husband, you're going, like, he He's listens really to the CrossFit, CrossFit stuff, but yeah. yeah. And he, I would have never have guessed no, that. No, pretty good. And then you had oh, wow. Stacy, who's only, like, I think she said doing it a couple months, and they just thought CrossFit was super fascinating, and then finds a train with Rich. Like, how it's incredible great. was it that there are so many people, and then you had people that have done it for a decade, like mm -hmm. Justin and that whole crew of, of them. Like, they were all, and I love the, the group of, like, uh, Raul, Mike, mm -hmm. Travis. They were, like, little dream team over yeah, there you know yeah. they they understood their limitations and then did everything and they yeah. just went hard you know sharif was cool yep. yeah really liked him cool. yeah, good yeah. he learned his english in egypt at a university there really which is just kind of crazy i love to hear those stories yeah. and came all yeah. the way he owns a gym yeah came all the way over here just kind of yeah get to kinda, egypt. he's like i i feel like i know you guys really really well because i've watched all the videos it's like i really know who rich is and then I'm here and yeah. just because I kind of wanted to see it. And that was interesting to hear him talk yeah. about that perspective yeah. and just actually kind of get to see it from 
Yeah, he it's came origin. up and he was like, you know, because he kind of asked a question about, you know, having coaches and programming and all that stuff. And he was like, I'm not, after being here, I'm not happy with my programming. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. Sorry, man. <laughs> well, I asked that um, Sharif and Serge. Serge doesn't live in Russia anymore, but he grew up there. Because um, I never, like going to a CrossFit gym in another country, do they write? I was curious to see if there were words if CrossFit words are in there's English, some, can be translated like some and some are clean. not. Yeah, yeah. some but, are it, like because we've been a lot of places. Like you'll see whatever characters or whatever it is, and then it'll just say like thruster or something yeah, like that because yeah. right. some words don't translate. But, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was trying to think about in the gyms in China, like what they had if it was English or. I mean, there was a lot of yeah. English speaking people. I felt like in the gym we in were in the gym. In, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. gyms we were in. I was like, no, there was not. <laughs> <laughs> no, everywhere else, everybody looked at you like you were an idiot. But. <laughs> Well, Train with Rich is like the equivalent of like a baseball fantasy camp. Yeah. yeah. Like you actually yeah. get, it's, but you actually get to work out. Like you're going to get all you want. Oh, yeah. And it's every level, but everyone's going to be really sore. All, I always love seeing people on Sundays. Like how you feel? Sore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the worm, the worm the thing parts. has changed everything. Yeah. So there's all kinds of comments about that, which is cool. So we didn't crush them as much with the worm this, this last time. We did some worm stuff, but it right. wasn't a ton, but it was good. It's awesome. They got the feeling for it. Yeah. We should have a worm blooper reel, though, because, like, all uh, of us have experienced it over, like, you know, you know, five, eight years' time, whatever, and it's so relatable. Like, I always catch myself, I'm like, don't laugh. They just got smashed by the worm. But it's there. like, we've Tasia. all been there. So, I mean, yeah. no, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> when my head almost got blown up. <laughs> that was, like, the only time I've ever seen you actually get crushed by the worm. And you were what? It's because she just bailed. <laughs> When was this? I don't oh, know this. We were trying story. to do two so person. Yeah, right? we we're preparing for China. And we're doing <laughs> so a two good. person worm hold, and Tasia just decides she's done because it was okay. didn't feel right. No, it didn't. And so <laughs> I'm holding on, and the thing just falls, and it takes me with it, and my head, the front of the worm yeah. and the back of the worm, because I'm already like slid kind of back, yeah. and it just literally just takes me by the neck, yeah. takes me down, and then is on my head. Yeah, so <laughs> you're he welcome. Tr he tried to fight it too, but it, he knew that there was nothing he could do, so he sat there for a second he's like Ugh. okay in my defense <laughs> i didn't just like drop it like oh it feels uncomfortable drop it it it's was exactly in totally the wrong <laughs> spot it's exactly and i couldn't hold it so i and she wasn't like drop she just <laughs> dropped and like <laughs> fell out and, then, and i literally my head was like a nut in a nutcracker. Yeah, and yeah it was, it was, it was like slow this. motion too. It was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I was actually, you know, I'm going to be honest, I was really mad about the workout he had programmed. <laughs> Just <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> was like, peace off, man. <laughs> yeah, remember that? <laughs> yep, so that was fun. And then, didn't, Dre had a good uh, worm smash, like, wasn't the first week oh, of training with you guys? Like, he yeah. Just yeah what, did like, he, what happened to him on that? Something happened. He was dying. <laughs> yeah, he was dying and then, it was like a clean and jerk. Yeah, because we posted it. And we were supposed to drop. <laughs> I don't he think he made it over his head or oh. something. Oh, yeah, and then we just went down and yeah. he just took him out. Well, so and good. then my all-time favorite one, and I, every time I look at it, I laugh and, like, so hard it hurts, is China when she was doing it at home with a group her <laughs> first couple times in the back. She has a picture of the worm literally sitting on the center, like center her of her face. Yeah. <laughs> and it is just yeah. Oh, man. Like, you I just have. don't understand until yeah. you, you try it. You don't. Yeah, it's, it's totally so funny. funny having the train with Rich. Train only posts like six things. Yeah, I think it's a yeah. clean and jerk. You can find it oh, easily. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty early. And he goes over. <laughs> This, Wait, is a, this is a picture on Dre's Instagram. Yeah, it's, it's a, a video. video. If you go on Dre's Instagram, it was from like uh, January third. Oh, gosh. he was on the front of the worm. I think that was one of the only times he's ever been yeah. on the front of the worm. Seriously, yeah. and it just just crazy. Just yeah, we all do a clean a and jerk up and too. over, and he doesn't go over. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, a, it's never really fast because it's like the worm's slowly falling, so yeah. you just kind of yeah. yeah. It's almost like dominoes. <laughs> it would be cool to have a blooper reel. Oh, of just yeah. all the wipeouts, because there's always a couple when oh, people yeah. are here and they kind of struggle and it knocks totally. them over and it's good. It's for good sure. perspective though, because you look at it and you're like, oh, well, you watch it's people so do easy, it, it's gonna be stupid. easy. stupid. It's yeah. Or mm -hmm. I'm fit and I got this, and you get on it. It's and you're really like, freaking hard. It's really hard. I'm trying to think, what's the worst worm workout you guys have ever done? I'm trying to think. I've had a lot. <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm trying to think of any like workout really in China. DT, oh, DT? The DT that one that Tasia quit. That one, that one looked. looked <laughs> that one like was hard. Um, yeah, it was hard for the people. I don't people. know. We've done some really hard ones. Yeah, we've here. done worse than that. The one that I that comes to my mind is there's actually a video of it. It was the back squat GHD handstand walk. Yeah, that one was terrible. Training for, for some the games reason. this year, right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, that one I thought was going to be a really short-ish one, and it 
crushed our souls. Um, oh, that was really hard. Yeah, we've done a lot of bad ones. Do you remember the deadlift one at the pond? That one was bad. The deadlift, deadlift that one at the pond sucks. and the seven mile run, not up the mountain, but that like was the just like, weird run thing. Oh, that thing. Yeah, that was but terrible. But nothing hurt as bad as that. That deadlift swim, I remember the first set thinking, how, like, yeah. five reps in, how are we going to finish this? Yeah, that was hard. Ugh. Yeah, the run one was bad. Um, then carrying that thing up the mountain wasn't terrible, but it was just annoying. You definitely lost some inches. Huh. It's a long, just annoying. <laughs> is that, I is like it, that. what's that worse, fun. to be annoyed? Or to actually be being hurt in a workout. Just I mean, depends. like, depends. Like, that was annoying for, like, an hour and a half. Yeah. And it was, like, probably about 75, 80% of pain. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it stayed there the whole time. Like, it never really got hard. It never really, I don't know. It was just. The bad. first 200, was no it was break. questionable. You're yeah. like, oh, are we really going to, like, for this. not drop it for yeah. three miles? But the ones that hurt after a couple of reps, I feel like that's more panicky. You're a little than, panicky, yeah. You know, you're, you're like, like oh, I'm gonna die. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna die. It depends on if you're the person getting put in the dirt. Yeah, because right. that's, that's a great when point. You're yeah. really in trouble. If everybody's getting yeah. put in the dirt, it's then it's thing. okay. But yeah. yeah, if it's just you, then it's a dark you're, place. It's, it's really dark. Right. <laughs> what was the? You you got you actually told the story of the workout at the game several years ago, where sh, where you were the one kind of getting put in the dirt. Oh, you and mean without the worm, though? The yeah, it, was it wasn't a worm. The it was, it was just the, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And that wasn't really her it wasn't fault, your fault that she was putting the dirt. You were she doing was doing ex- more work. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. Taking all the weight. No, it's, it's really dark when you're there. <laughs> yeah, when you're in that spot. Tasia it's, freaks out a little bit when she's there. I don't freak out. I, no, you handle it. Hey, I think I ha- as best as could be, I just couldn't speak. They're like, oh, you got it. And I'm like, no, I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. My inner monologue was like, I'm not sure you can do one more. And you still have like 50 more. You're going to die. <laughs> uh, the other kind of fun thing and interesting thing too, like do having like train with riches and other people come in. For training is when you're used to being on the worm with certain people, yeah. and then you switch, and you're like, "Sweet goodness, this isn't what it was." You know, like right. you can really. I wanted to kill him on that lunch. <laughs> kill him. He you're was like, like, "Who's going I was forward? Like, Who's pushing us around?" Because the only person that I've never wormed with, I think it's you. <laughs> I wanted to kill him. Is that the official term, wormed? I've never yeah. wormed with you. Yeah. And you need to coin no, that. that. I don't know if it was his fault, but I, in that moment, I was angry, and Chase <laughs> took the rap. <laughs> <laughs> that was another good part of Train with Rich is the lunges. There were people that went down at the bottom of the lunge. There were people that were coming up, and, like, the person wasn't even touching the worm. Oh, yeah. There were people that got buried at the bottom. I mean, it was like, there was one group I'm like, oh, no. I mean, it was. Where did you get that? Well, it, at Train with Rich, I was getting ready to go with Jake and who else was in that group? Um, Jake, Drew. Mm. Drew. And these are people who have done fit. it before. Yeah, sure. And they're fit. And so I was really kind of okay with that. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I'll survive. And then Rich Sharif shows up and Rich is like, hey, let him go. Because he, you know, he, yeah. he paid. He needs to be here. And then Rich is like, hey, you be a fill-in over here. And he points <laughs> over to a group of guys who are struggling. Let's they were put it hurting that way. a little bit. And I do not want to be a part of that. <laughs> well, I you 100%. don't want to get injured. You know, you're... But I just don't want to go get in the middle of that yeah. chaos over yeah. there. Like, yeah. if, if I'm over here with these people who have yeah. done it, yeah. at least my neck's not getting broke. Yep. Yeah, we put those guys on the, the lighter worm at the end of the but road. I loved it. Cause... They problem solved together, and they ended up looking really clean. Look, like they, they did it. Up, like, I'm not being too. Cri- I'm trying oh, yeah, to criticize yeah. them. No, I'm, I'm just talking about level of experience. Yeah, yeah. And that first workout was to try to figure out. All right, like yeah. squats, people can do yeah. and right. not like. But once you figure it out, hey, you know, yeah, they're struggling with squats. We're not yeah. going to have them do anything crazy. Yeah. Like that, <laughs> We're so. not going to have this like going over their head. That's what's cool about training on the worm, though, is like since we train so much, the chaos is, can be real even at the highest level. You yeah. know what I mean? Like these people yeah. who maybe have not trained together or they get really worked up when yeah. they're the one yep. getting buried. Yeah. Like that's real. Yeah. So that's why I have, it's such a cool tool. I, yeah. I talk about it all the time because I have so much, honestly, so much respect. Mm hmm for what that skill actually is and how it tests your fitness. Yeah. And it, if you haven't done it before, you just don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you should try. Yeah. I mean, you literally should try. And it's just, it just sets, yeah. it totally. sets you apart in a fitness level and then what your, what your abilities are, especially as like a yeah. kind of a team test. Sure. You know like, what I mean? Even in China, I remember in DT, which it was <laughs> like, it was a painful workout. Like we were oh, hurting, painful. but some teams left and right of us were like screaming at each other wow. on the worm. Yeah. And yeah. they're like high caliper teams. They're yeah. not like yeah. just Joe Schmo. Like yep. they're very fit people, but just 
when you get in that dark spot, it's like, can you control your emotions? Yeah. Like, and are the people around you helping? I you honestly do that? like from wa- just from a bystander watching that to me looked like the one of the worst warm workouts ever created because of the time under tension and having, because you're having to move it to from like a hang position and not in just one fluid motion. It seemed like, wow, that would just be so punishing that right. much time under tension on the bag that heavy. Yeah. yeah you know, it terrible. just looked, yeah. Yeah. What's the hardest warm movement you think? Or like the most painful one? Thrusters. Deadlift sucks. I was going to say deadlift. Yeah, I guess deadlifts. We don't do deadlifts a ton. I don't don't think they're that safe, really. Yeah. They're hard to judge, too, so we don't see them a lot in competition. Hand clean was kind of a dumb one, too. Yeah. Actually. It it it. didn't look. That looks really awkward and looked like just hard to do. Yeah. Not from a fitness perspective, just mechanically, it didn't look like it worked right. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> what was it again? Worming? What was the term? Wor- wormed. wormed. Worm. Haven't wormed with you before. Haven't wormed with you. Haven't wormed with you before. Could take that another way, but like it. Yeah. Wormed. Have you ever done anything uh, crazy to save your animals? I feel like you probably have, Silver. You have all the animals. I got a story. Tell me. All right. I can tell you a story. It happened yesterday. Yesterday? Oh, yesterday. man. It's, I must have known. It's, it's dark. You know, I'm into my cats now. All right. You, you are a cat man. Chris You're and I are person. coming home. Coming over the hill, getting ready to turn left on our street. It's a neighbor that just moved in, a couple that's remodeling a house, and they have this little cat that's mm-hmm. been kind of, you've seen it around the neighborhood or whatever. I see that cat just to the right of the road as I come over the hill, and I look up, and 20 feet away is a fox crouched. About oh, to take no. out the cat. Stalking up the side <gasps> of the road, and, and that cat's name is Clancy, <laughs> and it is Clancy's last moment. Did you hit the fox? Slammed on the brakes. Shoe. Jumped out of the car. I thought about reaching for the Glock, but <laughs> we're in a neighborhood. Maybe no Glocks in probably the neighborhood. Probably not. It kind of, that's probably not smart. I know uh, I'm going to hit the fox, yeah. but let's not do that. Chase the fox uh, off into the woods. Kristen jumped out, grabbed Clan- Clancy. We took Clancy up, said hi to the folks, and said, hey, man, listen. Oh, so like, Clancy was saved. If you let Clancy out at night like this, Clancy's fox not food. Gonna- so, yes, I have done a lot to save my animal. Save the fox. Save the f- There's well, a fox in your neighborhood. Yeah, we got to do something about that. I think we got to call and have a trap. I didn't realize fox ate, fox ate things as large as cats. Mm-hmm. Fox will pretty much eat anything. Yeah. Really? How big's a fox? I feel, I've seen one, I feel like, but I no, think they were that big. Fox for sure. Small What's the animals, plural? little dogs. I'm just Foxes? thinking. Foxes? 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 I was like going to say, and then I'm like, Foxes? I'm, Foxes? Foxes? I'm yeah. No, I've never Foxes? done anything crazy. I did watch my. Well, I was in the vehicle when my mom ran over one of our dogs. Oh, oh. that's so sad. Two that days before just... Christmas. Oh, that was, what was the dog's name again? Taz. Yeah, that oh. was a sad story. No. Oh. Watched him flailing around. Oh, come on! Oh. That's her fault. He chased cars, and he chased the wrong car that oh, day. No. Oh no! Oh. I was probably maybe six or seven oh. right before Christmas. That was awful. Oh, that's horrible. It's like our first dog too. He was a stray, and we kind of took him in, and he lived with us for a couple months, maybe a year. Sure wow. enough, he started chasing the car. Oh, and, gosh. Oh. and you just see him like, oh. My dad had to go, like, go no. home and take care of him. Oh, oh my gosh. So okay, please tell me you got a new dog like immediately or saved something. Uh, not immediately. We did a couple, like a month or a couple months later. We got Jake, our first Jake, not the Jake that I was dad like, has Jake? now. Wow. No, it's actually Jake, Jake too. Um, <laughs> the other Jake, we had some friends. Mom had some friends that he just, they had him, but they couldn't really, they what kept him tied up he? in the backyard. He was a German Shepherd Collie mix. He was oh, a cool wow. dog. Jake. Jake also got hit by a car. What? Oh, wow. Man. Oh, man. However, he was also like, because he also chased cars. Uh, how old was Jake when he died? I was like a senior in high school, so he was probably 15 or 16. Like, he'd gotten old, but he was a, Jake was a good dog, just like this Jake, current Jake. Apparently, wow. that's a good dog name. I thought you were going to, not that you didn't really save the dog, but Gipper's sleepwalking story is one of, that Gipper's still makes a, me laugh out loud. Gipper's a nut. Gipper's <laughs> and then just almost ran to his That's doom. the most unique dog of I all mean, time. He's an idiot. It's just so funny how some dogs have that awareness and some don't. It was the reason I thought of this was my dad's newly saved animal a couple weeks back. Just mangy, mangy. Yes. Just, I mean, my dad's in the pool and the river's like, I don't know, 25 feet away. He walks up to the edge, just looks around and just goes straight in. Just plop, goes straight to the bottom. I'm like, you're a dog. You know, like nothing. It sounds like he was trying to kill himself. (laughs) Just a myth. Had enough. He he honestly he looks like a um uh a mop. Like he, he lay looks on like the ground. Benji. He looks like a, yeah. That movie Benji. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So my dad rolls out of the pool, 
can't even like jump out of the he rolls like barrel rolls out of the pool runs to the edge of the water and goes straight in to get the dog and i'm like really then throws mangy out of the water <laughs> but still i mean give me a break your dog i assumed you'd swim and that's wow. just sank well, he just sank i mean darren's dog didn't swim <laughs> Lake oh. Tonto. Lake Tonto. Tonto. Rest in peace, Tonto. <laughs> oh, no. That's oh, that Every time I see the pond, I think about that, unfortunately. That story. I see Jake out there swimming around, yeah. and then you're like, Tonto. Jake doing his physical therapy. and Tonto, not so much. Yeah. My He's... brother was a... I don't think we've... Have we... We've told that story before, I think. Right? <laughs> oh, you should tell it. I don't think you have, not on the podcast, because oh, I don't man. think it's... Yeah. Uh, it's an intense story. Yeah, so what was it? It was Father's Day, like, three years ago? Yeah. When so Raffet like and Hobart were here. Yeah, and so Sunday we're kind of having Father's Day thing for Dad, and we're at his place. We go inside. We eat. We're inside for maybe 10 minutes. The dogs are running around, whatever. I had to leave pretty quick because I had a, football, or a baseball game, and so I call the dogs. My two idiots come running around. Get them in the truck. We leave. Go to the game. Well, about an hour or two later, I call, and uh, Hillary's like, yeah, we can't find Tonto, blah, 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 and so I'm like, that's weird. So we go back up there and kind of try to help him look for the dog. Well, Darren and just stay for hours looking for this dog and can't find him. Next day, we're going up there to train because that's when we trained at Dad's. And uh, we're sitting there and it's getting about one o'clock and we're kind of helping look for the dog, but we can't find him. And so finally, I'm like, all right, we got to do something. Well, we usually swim on Mondays. And so we go to go down to the pond. I'm carrying this D-ball and I look and I'm like, uh, what the hell is that? Is that like a beaver in the pond? No, oh, no. It was Tonto floating. Oh, no. Butt up. Ugh. And uh, so I run down That's there. So like, sad. I'm like, James, Tonto's down here. He's dead. James comes down. He jumps in, goes after him. He dove in. Literally, uh, fully clothed, like, shoes on, I just hear, straight into the... I hear the razor uh, coming down the road. I mean, the dog's dead. I don't know why it was like... <laughs> like we, we saw he was gone. And anyway, so... He just wanted to cover him up. Uh, Matt or Darren and... Yeah, because that was it. I right. ran back back up. As I'm telling James, I'm like, Hewitt, stop Darren and Jess from coming down here on the razor because they come up oh, on the razor. Yeah. As they come to the razor, Hewitt's like, uh, and they just drive right on by. It doesn't stop. <laughs> he, he literally was like, uh. And so they come down there. Shirt, James had had him off, covered him up with a shirt, whatever, and Tonto's just laying there by the pond uh, full of water. Wow. And so then it's like so 90 sad. degrees. So we were like, well, we got to bury this dog. So we start digging a hole and oh we're about to just throw him in the hole. And Ellie's like, <laughs> is somebody going to say something? And so we have this funeral service with this dog. So we throw a dog in the hole, so cover him up. And really like, we're, we start to, me and I think me and James are like digging this hole. And Darren's like, give me the shovel. Like, it's just like, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was the most it's like, my dramatic. Dog. Like, it was like, so right. dramatic. But yeah, Tonto was a good was, dog. Sad. Tonto was it awesome, was. but yeah, there he, a lot of but there's like two or three times that the dog got saved from the pond. So it was literally like, of like sinking like to his last nostril <laughs> like this. Oh, like no. why was he <laughs> multiple times? It was like, I he think, just kept I going. I think probably in. what happened was he ran down to the pond because Gipper and Gilgan were in there, and Gipper probably like pushed him in on accident, yeah. and he just kind of slid off into the <laughs> right yeah. into the abyss. Yeah, he's yeah. probably trying to play. Yeah, oh. I, I blame Gipper. I'm, I'm thinking it was no, Gipper's fault. It's not Gipper's fault. Oh, I guarantee it was Gipper's the no, fault. Gipper's number one advocate here. Yeah, it's not Gipper's fault. <laughs> I Man, don't, that don't put that on him. That soy's kicking yeah. in right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Oh, Sad. goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. emotional. Yeah. 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 It was a bad day. It was really, like, rough. I don't even, no pun intended. I think we left that, like, that D-ball down by the pond for, like, a week because we are like, we're not going in that pond no. now. Oh, yeah, we didn't swim for a while no. after that. Yeah. It was, like, creepy. Wow. You're going to swim and hit something, you know? Oh, you can't. Dead animal. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. I don't, where do we go we next? Took, yeah, deep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's go how to anti-age. <laughs> okay. Because I, I was, no, I was listening to a Harvard professor this morning and it kind of blew my mind. Um, and he was talking about like aging in reverse. And the first, the way he said it at first makes you think as a CrossFitter, you're like, well, in, we're in Rich's case because of the fasting. I'm going to live forever. So anyway, he talks about like one of the biggest things involved in like slowing your aging is uh, controlling like this enzyme. It's called a SAR2 and that does all this stuff. Uh, but he said basically the ways to do it uh, is you have to make your body feel like it's under threat of survival. Every day. Or be hungry. And he's like, how do we make the body feel that way? Heat With, shock, cold shock. Well, yeah, I haven't gotten to that part of listening to it, but like his initial ones were uh, run a lot or get out of breath. And I'm like, oh, we get we out of that. breath all okay. the time. Okay, perfect. 
uh, because your body thinks it's, you know, like running from like a saber, saber tooth tiger or something. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is to feel hungry a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. But then obviously he goes on to say, because this turns on these enzymes to like build you back up. Right. But the, the issue is if you do it too much, you're ending up, you're breaking down too much. So mm -hmm. there has to be like that happy medium. Like you can't starve yourself or right. probably beat yourself up as much as we do per se and achieve that. But I thought the thing about it that was really cool, too, because I remember this. I do remember this from college and exercise science. Here we go. We had a professor that talked about if you decrease your calories by 30% over a lifetime, because they did this mm -hmm. to, to mice. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. It wasn't there. It might have been. I don't remember how much you decrease I it by. I remember this from exercise science, and she doesn't remember No, it. I go do. Ahead. Go ahead. But it increases your lifespan <laughs> by 30%. But I don't remember how much you have to like. But anyway, he was saying, though, the long and short of it is you have really aggressive angry, miserable mice because they've been hungry their whole lives. So they live 30% longer, but they're just so PO'd. It's like, wow, why'd you live, you know? So they found, same with the exercise and the nutrition aspect, because they talk about fasting. Mm -hmm. Like they're saying, that's a huge piece of longevity, is saying that you have to pulse all of these things. Mm -hmm. So if they found in mice that, so they had this group of mice where they took away whatever percentage it was of mm -hmm. their food and they were angry and miserable the mice that didn't eat one day and then could literally eat whatever they wanted the next day. They said the mice would eat up to like 90% of what their body could hold. They basically like just ate anything, still lived 30% longer. So same with us, as long as you pulse these things that you're hungry even once every couple days, right. that's good for you. So fast every whatever. I don't know 68. what your long-term fasting will be like. Either you're going to have like exceptional cells or... I'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> We're all going to die someday. So yeah, but you're, you're some mice. of those things you can't control. Yeah, some of them. I've Most been, of those things you can't control. True. I've been fasting in, again now for four days. And I already, once the, once you get past the first couple of days. It takes about I, a couple of weeks actually, I, but I, for me. But I feel better yeah, already feel though. I, I like it. the being hungry thing. Like yeah. in the beginning I don't. And now today I was like, ooh, I'm hungry, but I like I that. don't but restrict you know? calories. I still take in the yeah. same amount of calories. I just restrict when I take in the calories. Right. It, yeah. There's one that also that a lot of people do is 24 on, 24 off. Like you're saying, like you eat for 24 and you don't eat for 24, but that's just kind of. And they're just, but they're saying it's as simple as for other people. Right. Cause like there's also articles of like where, you know, where fasting's supposedly better or worse for females. Cause it affects sure. you differently. Right. Like, yeah, they say just women being are, hungry does right. still actually trigger those enzymes. So mm -hmm. at least you have that going for you in that regard, yeah. you know, hmm. just to be able to, I don't know. That's an interesting topic. I'm yeah. always interested to hear what somebody has to say about that. Well, I really want to read this guy's book. He says he can take, literally take your blood and he has all these, you know, mechanisms of looking at it and tell you how long you're going to live. Mm -hmm. Like assuming nothing like I was catastrophic. About to say, well, can he, you know, if that car wreck happens or. If, right, right. Yeah. No, not that. And obviously like. Genetic he, things. Yeah. Right. And you can reverse a lot of the things that he's talking about too. But he's saying, um, you know, a lot of these issues that are happening like with people with brain and things that are coming up are because of that. So. Right. I don't know. Penny. But how long, like, Rich, when you started intermittent fasting and you were still exercising, how, or silver too, how uncomfortable were you? The, like, when did your discomfort go away and were you hungry? Were you dizzy? Like, what were you feeling this first? About a week-ish for on the, in the morning session. Mm -hmm. Like, if, um, you know, I just didn't feel optimal. It took about three weeks to get used to it for me. I've been, it's I've been, I went back to eating like at seven and kind of eating what I eat in seven o'clock in the morning and now I'm not eating till 11 so that I've been riding mm -hmm. a road bike. I got a little course I've been doing every day and that first, that first ride in the morning is you, I just feel, you know, really you don't feel like, like you're ready for or yeah. you're charged yeah. up or, um, but, but I feel hungry now and I feel, I feel good that I feel hungry. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. It feels good. Do you drink coffee like when you wake up? Yeah, I I had to go to just black, black coffee. You have a black coffee because yeah. I quit doing the chai and I've just been. I've only recently added black coffee. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. but two months, whatever now. Wow. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. And then I, used, I, I took your now, suggestion yeah. and put it on ice. Yeah, and I can, yeah. I can do it. I love black coffee now. I feel like that would help uh, the fasting. I love yeah, good yeah. black Because it's like at least like a mental. Like you have something that you're putting too. in. Yeah. But it's funny though, because like even the professor, he's like, "Yeah, I tried the intermittent fasting, and I was just too hungry and too angry." And it reminds me of when Chase tried it. No, oh, Chase. <laughs> and he For like was two like, days. He was like the Snickers commercial. He's like, I just started yelling at my members, and I just couldn't understand why. I was like, Why aren't you picking up the barbell? What is wrong? Some and then people he's are like, just mentally weak. He's just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's just food. So, Calm it's down. so funny. 
But some people are just different, I think. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. It's just like anything. Some people it works for, some people it doesn't. But um, Chase is also weak, so. He's not weak. Oh, my gosh. Chase just is like the toughest Chase. person. He's like rods just in his legs. Like, no oh, my gosh. Uh, did we decide where Tasia's pop socket goes? We need to take a poll. Where do yeah. you put the pop socket? Poll. Is that what this is? A pop socket? Yeah, I want it for the, the kids back are calling of my it these phone. Days? But I don't think it's supposed to be dead center. I think it's might need you to be a little bit You got to be able to, if you have to, reach with your thumb. So, like... Do you have one on your phone? I had one for a while. Did you like it? Well, yeah, no. until my kids ripped it off. Second. So, oh. I was just having put another one back on. Yeah. It was all right. Oh. It was better than I thought. Yeah. So, I, I just, I just feel like myself. it makes your phone too thick. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want but it. it's so it into... nice. Like, you can hold it. Yeah, you don't get that weird... We talked about last time, that weird pinky indention. Yes, you, you do. Just, oh, maybe I do. Chill. Yes, you do. I feel like you're on your Ooh, phone yeah, too much, right. Tasia. <laughs> well, this is what made me think of it. When we were in Kauai, we went on a helicopter tour, and it's like no doors. So I'm, I can't take my phone. I'm going to drop it 100%. <laughs> like, I'm going to drop it. But if I had a pop socket, because I was up there, I'm like, if I had a pop socket, I think I'd be able to like take pictures and stuff. I need because, a pop socket. <laughs> so I can film this one <laughs> trip that I've been on. In my 28 but, years. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty rad epiphany that one time. That's when I, when I was out there because I was like, I really wish I could take pictures of this. It's so uh, amazing. And I was like, you can't trust yourself. You will drop your phone out. This I'm sure you could probably Google side. pictures the same and you could just use them and yeah, say, say they're yours. <laughs> that's oh, kind of like the same. Did not, you say something not... about not having a seatbelt on and realizing oh, it? Okay, and... Haley, quick right? little tidbit. Haley's not here. But we went, so in the helicopter ride together, it was like the flying person, Heidi Hinshaw, and then Haley that, that's and called I, the pilot. The, pi- <laughs> the flying person. That's the pilot. Anyway, the flying person. And then Haley and I in the back. In that flying thingamajig. <laughs> so, so there's no doors. And a helicopter is actually kind of bouncy. Like, I didn't realize yeah. how bouncy it really was. Yeah. It's Sounds, just slightly frightening. Mm. Um, and so I didn't take my phone because I didn't want to drop it. And Haley took <laughs> no her phone because it. she wanted to take pictures. And so we're just sitting there, just flying. You can't hear, you can't talk, really, unless right. you push a button. Yeah. Um, and then I say, I look at Haley and she's She's like full panic, like, ah, and her seatbelt's off, and we're sitting, and there's no doors. And the other part, so it unhooked, the other part was hanging on the ground, like by me. So I'm like, I hit the button, I'm like, Haley's seatbelt's off, like just so they know, so they're right. not like turning. And she's just freaking out, but she can't talk, like she can't communicate because you have to like hold the button, but she's holding her phone and like oh. holding the seatbelt. Drop the phone. Yeah. I, Dang. <laughs> Can you imagine that if she fell out of the helicopter? Gosh, I was... Uh, How high up were you guys? Oh, I can't imagine. oh it would have been death, death for sure. Oh, okay. So she we just had high. to buckle up, right? But she, so it was a shoulder strap. So what happened was she was so panicked. It was locked and she kept going like, oh, because it was like locked. But she's right. holding on. So she's fine. But she's fine. Yeah. There's like a handle hook that she was holding onto too. And I was like... Like, you need to, like, loosen the seatbelt, like, all the way uh. to get it back on. And it was a full panicked mess. But How, how did it, the, the flyer thingy guy, how did he not know <laughs> that that was going yeah, on? Yeah, they don't have, like, well, a... Well, so I told him... He's in him, the back seat? Yeah, he You're can't... In the back seat? Yeah, there's he can't no, see like, most, yeah. monitor or anything. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it unhooked because she went to take a picture. And it's like a, uh. a plane flap. You know, they're super light. Oh, okay. right. And it just popped off. But he was super calm, which actually made me feel, like way more calm he's like it's fine take your time we're gonna fly steady like obviously right. they don't want to land because we're in the middle of nowhere right. but right. he's like we'll land if we need to land oh my god but once she calmed down and got it buckled it was fine we hunted nice. hogs and coyotes out of a helicopter that's that was awesome. cool that's the only time i've ever that's been in a helicopter that is crazy Did that's you? what they actually brought that up they're I, like that's the next best yeah. thing is shooting a gun that's out of a helicopter. so much fun wow. and yeah that like Every time I talk about it, I'm like, that yeah, might be one of the most fun things I've done. And then I'm like, I don't know if there's anything that I've ever done that's more fun than that. <laughs> that's it was cool. pretty that's incredible. Really, well, you can awesome. do that in quiet. You get a little yeah. sick, though. Like, did you, like, my I stomach, they was, like, they bumpy. had to land one time because Darren was about to throw up. So, basically, him and Tia were, they were hunting because you kind of had to rotate. So, like, person in the passenger front, passenger seat was the, the shooter. Mm-hmm. And then everybody else was just, or, like, then Darren was in the back seat. And uh, he was just kind of helping spot or whatever. Yeah. And then it was his turn. They would rotate instead of flying all the way back. But anyway, so they're on this like group of hogs and Tia's shooting. And they're like, Darren's like, I'm going to throw up. Because the guy was like, if you're going to throw up, you tell us because it will go everywhere. Oh, yeah. Or throw up in your shirt. And Darren's like, hey, guys, I hate to be like this, but I got to throw up. So they, they said he literally drops Darren down. And they're in the middle of thousands of acres in yeah. the middle of Texas. Drops Darren down, leaves him, goes right back up. <laughs> And goes and hunts these hogs, kills them, comes back, and then comes and picks Darren up. Did he throw up? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I, I heard that people throw up a lot. Yeah, it's, I it's, definitely felt queasy, but he said, I asked over the monitor, I'm like, is it always this bumpy? And he goes, this isn't bumpy at all. And yeah. I'm, it feels like for some reason a helicopter, just, I don't know if it's, I've watched so many movies where helicopters are like, <laughs> so, <laughs> <you're> like <laughs> <laughs> so naturally you're in there like, come on. The place. Yeah, but he said it really uh, wasn't. Did you have music bumpy. playing in your headphones? No, because uh, we had an extra person, so they had didn't have it connected. Ah, uh, dang. Uh, yeah, we when we were doing it, like we're flying through these little like because we're in we're in Amarillo, which is super flat, but then we were in Paladuro Canyon, kind of, um, a little bit out of it, and uh, so you're like flying through these canyons. And then they're playing like CCR and like ACDC. <laughs> so it feels like cool. you're like in Vietnam or something <laughs> like that. Completely not, cool. but yeah. it felt like you're like, this is awesome. Yeah. You're like in a movie. Yeah. Right. That is cool. really neat. Yeah. Cool. Wow. wow. All right. That was a productive day. Trifecta, RP Strength, uh, CrossFitMayhem.com. Can we get like a commemorative watch or something for this? <laughs> yeah. Good watch. Commemorative yeah. watch. Yeah. For the diamond episode? Yes, we should. You can get a pop socket. <laughs> Grab a t-shirt. And <laughs> get, out and get on with your day. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We made Lakeland really sad when we talked about Tonto dying. She oh, wanted us to say that. Rest in peace, Tonto. We're sorry. We're sorry, Lake. Mayhem Mindset? Yes, sir. Coming up, anything? December. December. New class in December. New class of December. You want to say anything, Lakeland? All right. Peace. <laughs>